Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of elite livestock farming, where vision, science, and nature converge to create true bovine legends. Today, we put the spotlight on a breed that is not just livestock, but a symbol of resilience, productivity, and American success, the impressive Santa Gertrudis. Born under the unforgiving Texas sky, this jewel of the cattle industry is much more than a collection of admirable physical traits. It is the culmination of a bold dream, decades of meticulous work, and constant evolution that has left an indelible and deeply respected mark on the global beef industry. Its history is an epic of adaptation and genetic triumph. Let's step back in time to the bustling 1910s. In the heart of the legendary King Ranch, a vast cattle empire in Texas, a man with a revolutionary vision, Robert J. Kleberg, faced a monumental challenge to create a type of cattle that would not only survive, but thrive under the extreme and often brutal climatic conditions of South Texas. The sweltering heat, recurring droughts, and challenging pastures demanded an innovative solution. Kleberg, a pioneer with a deep understanding of genetics and the ranch's needs, knew the answer did not lie solely with traditional European breeds. He needed to forge something new, something specifically adapted. Thus, the ambitious idea was born to combine the best of two worlds, the legendary hardiness and heat tolerance of Brahmin cattle, Boss Indicus, with the renowned beef quality and structure of the British shorthorn, Boss Taurus. This strategic cross was not a random act, but the beginning of a rigorous and patient breeding and selection program that would change the cattle landscape forever. But where does its evocative, name Santa Gertrudis come from. Its christening is intimately linked to the very land where it was born. The name pays homage to the Rincón de Santa Gertrudis, the original land grant acquired by Captain Richard King, founder of the King Ranch, from the heirs of Juan Mendiola. It was in this very corner of South Texas that the foundational operations were established and where Kleberg's dream began to take tangible shape rooting the breed's identity in its place of origin. This name not only designates the breed, but evokes a legacy of tenacity and vision rooted in the history of America's most famous ranch. The development of the Santa Gertrudis was a methodical and calculated process, a testament to the patience and expertise of its creators. The initial method involved strategic crossing using bulls with a high proportion of Brahmin blood approximately 7-8, over selected purebred shorthorn cows known for their quality. However, the real breakthrough came with the identification and intensive use of an exceptional bull named Monkey. Born around 1920, this bull, a product of the Brahmin X shorthorn cross, proved to possess the ideal characteristics Kleberg sought, a perfect balance between the hardiness of the Zebu, Brahmin, and the beef conformation of the shorthorn along, with an outstanding ability to pass these traits to his offspring. Monkey became the cornerstone, the foundation sire whose influence was crucial to fixing the type and consolidating the breed as we know it today. Through continuous selection, replacing the initial bulls with superior descendants, and seeking ever-increasing uniformity, the genetic composition was refined. Today, it is established that the modern Santa Gertrudis proudly carries a blood composition of approximately 5 or 8 shorthorn and 3 to 8 Brahmin, a genetic formula that has proven to be a winning combination. This meticulous process culminated with the official recognition of the Santa Gertrudis as a defined purebred in 1940, a historic milestone that established it as the first beef cattle breed officially developed and recognized on the American continent. Its success was almost immediate, expanding rapidly throughout the United States and crossing borders into other countries, acclaimed for its unparalleled combination of hardiness, superior adaptability, and a meat quality that met market demands. Let's now explore the physical characteristics that make the Santa Gertrudis such an imposing and recognizable presence in any pasture. We are talking about a large framed breed designed for efficiency and robustness, 
Its head is notably large and broad, often with a slightly convex profile and adorned with long, drooping ears, a trait inherited from its Brahmin ancestry that aids in heat dissipation. The coat is short, dense, and smooth, a key adaptation. For hot climates, and its color is a distinctive cherry red, which can vary in intensity from light red to a dark reddish brown, but always maintaining remarkable uniformity. Beneath this red coat, the skin is pigmented, offering crucial protection against intense solar radiation, minimizing the risk of sunburn and skin cancer. Males exhibit a moderate hump, or crest, located just forward of the withers, less pronounced than in purebred Brahmin, but indicative of its Zebu heritage and associated with hardiness. They possess a well-developed dewlap, another feature aiding thermoregulation. Their body structure is impressive, a deep, well-sprung body, indicative of large rumen and thoracic capacity. The back is broad, straight, and strong, covered in solid muscle. Movements are agile and free, despite their size. The chest is wide and deep, housing powerful heart and lungs. Well sprung. Ribs provide space for vital organs and digestive capacity. The rump is long, wide, and muscular, though it shows a slight slope from hooks to pins, and the hindquarters are notably broad and filled with quality meat. In males, the prepuce is moderately pendulous but well-controlled, avoiding common issues, seen in other tropically adapted breeds. In terms of size, Santa Gertrudis bulls are true giants, reaching mature weights commonly between 900 and an impressive 1,100 kilograms, a proxy. 1980, 2425 LBS, with a height at the withers around 1.5 meters, approximately 59 inches. Cows, meanwhile, are substantial and maternal females, with weights ranging from 540 to 800 kilograms, a proxy grew 1190, 1760 LBS, and an average height of 1.4 meters, a prox 55 inches at the withers. This combination of size, muscling, and structural adaptations makes it an efficient biological machine for beef production in challenging environments. When we analyze the productive parameters, the Santa Gertrudis demonstrates why it is such, a valued choice in the modern cattle industry, especially in systems geared towards high-efficiency beef production. The numbers speak for themselves. Calf birth weight typically falls within a manageable and healthy range of 32 to 37 kilograms, approx. 70-82 LBEs, which facilitates calving without compromising initial growth potential. Where they truly begin to shine is in weaning weight. On average, Santa Gertrudis calves reach a solid 225 kilograms, a proxis, 496 LEBs, with a standard deviation around 20 klarn, reflecting the excellent maternal ability of the cows and the inherent vigor of the calves to convert pasture and milk into weight gain. This strong start is crucial for profitability. Their growth capacity continues at an impressive rate. At 18 months of age, a key stage for many production systems, these animals already reach considerable weights, typically between 390 and 400 kilograms. A proxy. Gig 860, 180 LBE. This rapid development translates into shorter production cycles and a faster return on investment. Furthermore, they not only grow fast, but also produce high-quality carcasses. Dressing percentages, carcass yield, are consistently high, ranging from an excellent 60% to 61%, meaning a larger proportion of the live weight is converted into saleable meat, a critical factor for profitability at the packing plant. Puberty, the point at which animals reach sexual maturity, occurs at an average weight of around 360 kuagn, a proxis, 794 LBs, plus 20s, allowing heifers to enter the reproductive cycle at a reasonable age. Average daily gain, ADG, is another strong point, consistently registering around 0.9 kilograms per day, a proxies, 2.0 LBs, day, Hughes, 
0.2 kaigut day, although this can vary depending on feed quality and management. In intensive production systems, average slaughter weight is around 470 kolorku, a prakas. It 10 to 36 LBEs, piliu to 30 kaku, reaching optimal market weights efficiently. These numbers are not just statistics, they represent the tangible ability of the Santa Gertrudis to convert resources into high value end products. Feed conversion efficiency is a cornerstone of profitable ranching, and the Santa Gertrudis also excels in this crucial aspect. Various studies indicate that this breed has an average feed conversion ratio, FCR, of around 7.5 kilograms of feed per kilogram of live weight gain, approx. 7.5.1. It is important to note there can be a variability of approximately plus 0.5 key in this figure. And this efficiency means the Santa Gertrudis requires a reasonable amount of feed to produce each kilogram or pound of meat, optimizing the use of forage and concentrate resources. Factors such as dietary nutritional quality, specific genetics within the breed, and the animal's physical activity level can influence this conversion rate, but the breed's genetic foundation predisposes it to be an efficient converter, especially considering its size and growth rate. Although its primary focus is beef, Santa Gertrudis cows demonstrate notable maternal ability, backed by adequate milk production to raise strong, fast-growing calves. Milk production per lactation is estimated at around 3,500 liters, approximately 9 to 25 gallons, with a natural variability of about platingurs, 300 liters. This translates to an average daily production ranging between 10 and 12 liters, approxis, 2.6 to 3.2 gallons. While not competing with specialized dairy breeds, this production is more than sufficient to ensure excellent pre-weaning development of their offspring, contributing significantly to the high weaning weights that characterize the breed. Utter quality and maternal instinct are also valued traits in Santa Gertrudis females. Factors such as the cow's age, nutritional management, and overall health will influence individual milk production, but the inherent capability is present. In the reproductive realm, the Santa Gertrudis exhibits parameters that underscore their adaptability and long-term productive efficiency. Age at first calving is relatively early for a breed of its size and partial boss indicus origin, typically occurring between 24 and 28 months, with a variability of about plus XCU two months. This allows heifers to begin their productive lives sooner, shortening the initial non-productive period. The calving interval is another key indicator of reproductive efficiency, and in the Santa Gertrudis, it remains in a competitive range, generally between 380 and 400 days. This suggests a good ability to rebreed while still lactating, maintaining an annual or near-annual production cycle under appropriate management conditions. Days open, the period between calving and the next conception, typically range from 120 to 140 days, reasonable figures for extensive and semi-intensive production systems. Regarding fertility, an average of 1.5 to 2 services per conception is reported, which is considered efficient. Perhaps one of the most outstanding attributes is their longevity. The Santa Gertrudis breed is known for its durability, with individuals capable of remaining productive in the herd for many years. A general lifespan of around 10 to 12 years is reported. More specifically, the productive lifespan of cows meaning the time during which they remain reproductively active and efficient in the herd, is estimated between seven and eight years. This remarkable longevity reduces the need for frequent replacements, lowering costs and increasing the return on investment for each breeding female. It is a testament to their overall robustness and adaptability. The primary purpose and production type for which the Santa Gertrudis breed has been perfected are Unequivocal, the efficient production of high-quality beef. Its unique combination of rapid growth, 
excellent muscle development, good carcass yield, and meat quality appreciated by consumers positions it as a top choice for the beef industry. However, its true strategic value lies in its exceptional adaptability to challenging environments. This breed thrives in climatic conditions where other European origin breeds falter, particularly in hot and humid zones. Its Brahmin heritage grants it superior tolerance to heat, humidity, and greater resistance to tropical diseases and external internal parasites like ticks and flies. This inherent resistance translates directly into lower production costs as expenses on veterinary treatments, ectoparasite control are reduced, and losses due to heat stress are minimized. Rapid growth and early sexual maturity add layers of efficiency, allowing for more agile production cycles. Regarding the type of production system, the Santa Gertrudis demonstrates remarkable versatility. It is an ideal option for extensive production systems, where animals graze freely over large areas, utilizing native or improved forages, often with strategic supplementation during periods of scarcity. Its hardiness and foraging ability make it suitable for these low input systems. Nevertheless, it also responds exceptionally well in semi-intensive and even intensive feedlot systems, where a controlled, higher quality diet allows them to express their full genetic potential for weight gain and carcass quality. This flexibility makes it adaptable to diverse management philosophies and resources. Climatic adaptation is undoubtedly one of the trump cards of the Santa Gertrudis. Intrinsically considered a tropicalized breed, it is perfectly equipped to perform in hot and humid climates, prevalent in vast regions of the world. Its optimal environmental temperature range for growth and development is between 15 degrees and 35 degrees, 59 degrees, 95 degrees, a broad spectrum covering many tropical and subtropical zones. Furthermore, it handles high relative humidity levels well, with an optimal range between 50% and 85%. Its short, smooth coat, dark, pigmented skin, and physiological characteristics inherited from the Brahmin, like a higher number of sweat glands and the ability to regulate body temperature, allow it to maintain comfort and productivity even under heat stress conditions that would severely affect other breeds. This adaptive capacity is not a luxury, but an economic necessity for sustainable livestock production across much of the planet. In summary, the Santa Gertrudis is not simply a breed of cattle. It is a living legacy of ranching innovation, a productive powerhouse forged in the adversity of the Texas climate. From its historic origins at the iconic King Ranch to its consolidation as a global force in beef production, this breed combines a fascinating history with imposing physical characteristics, outstanding productive and reproductive parameters, and climatic adaptability that makes it an intelligent and profitable solution for ranchers in tropical, subtropical, and challenging regions worldwide. Its efficiency, hardiness, and quality are proof of a vision that transcended its time. If this deep dive into the world of the Santa Gertrudis breed its history of resilience and its productive potential has captured your interest and you found it valuable. Let us know. Give this video a like to support our content. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future explorations into the fascinating universe of cattle ranching, bovine genetics, and the breeds, defining the future of the industry. Activate the notification bell to be the first to know about our new releases. And, very importantly, share your experience or questions about the Santa Gertrudis in the comments section. Have you worked with this breed? What results have you achieved? Join our community of cattle enthusiasts and let's share knowledge. Until next time.